stepping up the search for clues of extraterrestrial life, NASA is on the hunt for new planets beyond our solar system. These exoplanets, as they're known, orbit stars just as the Earth orbits the Sun. The main aim of TESS is ultimately to discover whether these planets can support life. That's a really big part of our mission, is to enable future exploration by providing a giant data set all over the sky of where these exoplanets are, the ones that are closest to Earth and brightest for follow-up observations, with the hope that someday in the next decades we'll be able to identify the potential for life to exist outside the solar system. Since the Kepler Space Telescope was launched in 2009, it has confirmed over 3,700 exoplanets, including more than 50 that could potentially support life. When the mission is complete in two years' time, 85% of the sky will have been surveyed for signs of new planets. Of most interest to astronomers, though, are exoplanets of a similar size to Earth that lie in the Goldilocks zone, where the temperature is not too hot or too cold for water to exist on their surface as liquid. Future missions such as the James Webb Telescope, which is set to be launched in 2020, will use TESS's data set to observe the planets more closely, possibly bringing us that bit closer to finding life elsewhere in the universe.